everyone. My name is Jennifer Gray, better known as Miss Jenny, and I am an arts for learning teaching artist in dance, movement, and yoga. Today, I am inviting you to join me to move like animals by using creative movement and yoga poses. Today's activity is called Moving Like Animals and we're going to be using creative movement as well as yoga poses to represent animals in a story. This activity is great for early childhood. Creative movement and yoga are great techniques and tools to use to represent anything and everything all around us. Engaging in creative movement and yoga increases your creativity, your self-expression, as well as your connection of your mind, body, and heart. Today, I am going to be using a technique called Bag of Dances, from which I am going to be pulling a variety of animals that we can explore through steady beat chants, call and response, creative movement, and yoga poses. For today's activity, all you will need is a space to move in and comfortable clothes to move in, as well as your attention to follow along with me. I have a bag with animals inside. Let's open up and see what hides. I have a very small animal in my bag that sometimes you can find inside your house. And it is called a tiny little mouse. And in order to move like the mouse, we're going to use a steady beat chant that goes like this. All you have to do is repeat after me. Mouse, mouse, who are you? Your turn. Mouse, mouse, who are you? How do you sound and how do you move? How do you sound and how do you move? So you might ask, how does a mouse sound? That's right, it can sound like this. Squeak, 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 squeak. Can you give that a try? Squeak, 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 squeak. Good job. Now, how does a mouse move? Let's use our creative ideas to think, what can a mouse move like? Perhaps he moves on his tippy toes. So let's stand all the way up and let's try to do tiptoe for mouse. We're gonna go like this. Tiptoe, 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 like a mouse, like a mouse. Tiptoe, 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 like a mouse, squeak, like a mouse, squeak. Wonderful. So this would be our movement for the mouse. Great job, he says. Let's bring our mouse back into the bag. This animal loves to chase mice. And you can see here, it has a nice C for cat. So we're gonna do the same beat. We go, cat, cat, who are you? How do you sound and how do you move? That's right, the cat might sound meow. Can you give that a try? Meow, 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 meow. Now says the cat. And how does it move? You might say he crawls, so we can crawl on the ground like a cat. And so we're gonna go crawling, 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 like a cat, yeah, like a cat. Crawling, crawling, crawling in a little circle, like a cat, like a cat. Now let's see what other animal is inside my bag. Bringing back the cat inside. Goodbye cat. And this one loves to chase cats. Woof, 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 woof. 
That's right. Here we have a doggy. And you already know the chant. Let's give it a try. Dog, dog, who are you? How do you sound and how do you move? Woof, woof, woof and woof. Woof, 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 woof. How about his movement? Maybe he can wag his tail. Let's go wagging. Let's stand up there. Let's go. Standing all the way up. And show me how a doggy moves his tail. You might move like this on one side and on the other. So we go. Wagging, 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 wagging. Like a dog. Woof. Like a dog. Wagging our tails, wagging our tails, like a dog, woof, like a dog, woof. Wonderful. Say good job, me, and goodbye, dog. We have one last animal, and this one might chase a dog. And you find in the wild, I wonder who it could be. <sighs> That's right, it's a lion. And so, we are going to ask the chance again. Here we go. Lion, lion, who are you? How do you sound and how do you move? Of course, we all know that lions love to roar. So we can go, roar, 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 roar. In yoga, there is something called the lion breath. So, I'm going to teach you that lion breath as a sound, so that way we can be very nice and gentle to our throats, yes? We go like this. We're going to go down and smell the grass, and then we're going to stick out our tongue, bring our claws by our side, and look up while letting out an exhale through our throat. Here we go. One, two, three. Smell the grass. And <sighs> lion breath. Now, how does a lion move? So that we can do our creative movement for lion. You might say they like to pounce, 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 pounce. Let's give that a try. Standing all the way up. We go. Pouncing, 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 pouncing like a lion. Like a lion. Pouncing, 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 pouncing like a lion. Like a lion. Great job, everyone. Say goodbye to lion. Goodbye, lion. And for the next portion of the class, now that we know how they move, I am going to teach you yoga poses for each of the animals that we just moved like so that we can participate in a very fun, short, creative yoga story. I'm going to use a chant called, Who's a Good Watcher? And that means that whatever I do, you echo and do with me as well. The chant goes like this. Who's a good watcher, watcher, watcher? Who's a good watcher? Show me now. see it but I have the tiny little mouse so with the mouse I'm going to show you mouse pose in yoga and mouse pose goes like this who's a go watcher 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 who's a go watcher show me now ooh, on my knees and ooh, Squeak, 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 squeak. 
Wonderful. We are in mouse pose. Remember the pose for our story. Let's see who is our second animal. I hope you remember we have brought out the cat. Meow. That chases the mouse. So for cat, we are going to do our cat pose and it goes like this. Who's a the water, water, water? Who's a the water? Show me now. Ooh, one paw. Ooh, a second paw. Ooh, a third. And then a fourth. And we are in cat pose. And to do cat pose, all we have to do is go. Ooh, meow. Or Ooh, looking at your belly button. Meow. Cats love some pets. This is cat pose. Let's go to our third animal. Who saw the water, water, water? Who saw the water? Show me now. And after cat, we have our dog and there is a very famous yoga pose called tower dog let's see if you can do it with me Ooh. Ooh. and lifting all the way up Ooh. lifting our tails like a doggy are you in doggy pose shake your tail woof 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 Great job, doggies. This is downward dog. Let's go to our last pose. All the way down, we ask, Who's a the watcher, watcher, watcher? Who's a the watcher? Show me now. I even have my little lion ears. And of course, our last animal was the lion. In order to do lion pose, we're going to do lion breath. Are we ready? It goes like this. Who's a the watcher, watcher, watcher? Who's a the watcher? Show me now. Lion breath. One more time. And this will be our lion pose. Let's begin our yoga story with all the poses that we just did. And all you have to do is follow me. The story begins in a house. Once upon a time, there was a house. We are in house pose. Now in this house, lift a tiny little animal. Coming down from mouse pose, Tip-toe, tip-toe, squeak, squeak, squeak. All the way down into mouse pose. Now when the mouse would sleep, he would dream that there was a cat chasing him. Oh no! Coming on to cat pose. Meow. Crawling, 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 crawling like a cat, like a cat, chasing the mouse, chasing the mouse like a cat, like a cat. Meow. Now when the cat would sleep, He would dream that he was being chased by a doggy. Uh-oh. You remember doggy pose? Let's step all the way up for a little doggy movement. And it went wagging, 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 wagging. The tail, the tail, like a little doggy, like a little doggy. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. And all the way down to dog pose. Ooh. And the dog would try chasing this cat. Woof, 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 woof. Now when the dog
goblet sleep. He too would dream that although he didn't live in the house, that a lion would chase him. Uh oh, you already know the lion pulse. And a pounce, and a pounce, and a pounce like a lion. Pounce like a lion, like lion pulse. Let's try our lion pulse with one, two, three. That must have been very scary for Mr. Dog. This is the end of our story. And this story was all about how sometimes we all have something that we are scared of. Just like the animals that we moved like today. Are you scared of something? And if so, what is it? Perhaps by moving, using creative movement and yoga, you can release all those scary feelings. Lying breath is a great way to release yucky thoughts and yucky feelings. What a great yoga story. And what a great way to explore animals such as the tiny mouse, squeak squeak, the crawling cat, rare, the waggy dog, woof woof, and the very powerful lion. You see, through creative movement today, we were able to move like these animals. And by doing their yoga poses, we learned a little bit more about them as well. Yoga poses are simply shapes that we make. And in yoga, it is said that everything in the universe can be represented through your body. Think of your favorite animal. What is your favorite animal? Can you sound like it? Can you move like it? Can you think of a yoga pose that might represent this animal that you love? How fun exploring. Thank you so much for moving with me. Don't forget to ask a guardian or parent to record or take pictures of you moving and doing yoga with me today. You can use at A4L Miami or hashtag A4L at home. That's a wrap everyone. Until next time, hands to heart and we say Namaste, which means I see the light and love in you. One, two, three, Namaste.